Hello my crafty friends, welcome back to my full deck challenge. This is card number 23. It's inspired by Zoe Scarpelli from Scrapsaurus. Like most of my cards, I'm going to start this one by adding a piece of tissue paper, which I'm adding with Mod Podge. This is just a regular tissue paper you'd use for wrapping a gift. And when I press it down, I actually use my fingers to scrunch it a little bit so it's not smooth. I want to create a bit of a texture on the surface of the card. Once the Mod Podge is dry, I'm going to tear the edges off. You could use the scissors to cut it, but I want a little bit of a rougher look and I don't want it too neat and tidy, so I'm just tearing it. And you can see there's a little bit of an overhang on some of the parts. There's a little spot that's missing the tissue paper, so I'm just adding a small piece and then just dabbing a little bit more Mod Podge before I dry it again. For the color, I'm going to use acrylic paint. I'm just going to work with one color. This color is called Sage. It's by the Casa Craft brand here in Australia. And I'm using it straight out of the tube. I'm not blending it with any other color. And I'm putting a little bit on and adding lots of water, just giving it a bit of a watery look and just letting it move around the card. You'll notice I'm not adding color everywhere. I'm concentrating some areas a little bit darker and some areas lighter. I li always like an uneven look. I don't want it always just a flat color. Once it's dry, I'm finding it a little bit too washed out. So I'm going to use my finger and add the acrylic paint directly onto the card in a couple of the areas just to darken it up a little bit. And with the texture underneath, it's given it a lovely effect. I prefer this darker look. For the focal point, I'm going to build an embellishment cluster. I'm going to start the base with this used tea bag. I think it's got a beautiful rusty color. And then I have a little bead die cut that's going to be the top of my focal point. I'm also adding a piece of cheesecloth. I do love the texture that cheesecloth gives and I tend to use it in quite a lot of my projects. To add some interest, I'm going to use a piece of vintage script kind of paper this is just from a kit that i've had it's some leftover pieces it's got like a cursive um, script which i really like and it's got a lovely um, vintage color so i'm going to add that and then i think it needs something a little bit more contrasting so i'm going to color a piece of cheesecloth a small piece with some um, ink this is oxide ink in the color uh, brushed corduroy it's a tim holt product and i just dab a little bit in some drops of the ink I uh, just dab out the excess ink and then I'm going to dry it it dries really really quickly and then I'm going to add that as a little bit of additional texture on my embellishment cluster I'm now going to use the sewing machine with some black thread I'm going to stitch all the way around the card with some zigzag and some straight and the same with my embellishment cluster I'm going to go up and down a few times and I'm going to leave all the threads hanging off and very bunchy and loose I really really like that look I'm gluing down the cluster with a hot glue and then I'm going to add my little bee on the top also using the hot glue I have this sticker book by Tim Holt. It's actually a Halloween one, but I have a few words that I like that will be suitable. So I'm just going to stick that down. And although it's a sticker, I'm using the hot glue just to be sure it'll stick down over all the layers. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, do give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I have more cards coming in the full deck challenge. I also have a group on Facebook if you'd like to join in. Just search Full Deck Challenge Group. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye.